Gary, as you said in the introduction of the show, it's really your first day back on the water from kind of a pretty scary experience. The fact that you were pre-fishing for the FLW tournament and uh, uh, had a little bit of a boat accident. and uh, A little bit? Yeah, a lot. I'd say a little. How about a lot of a boat accident? <laughs> Tell them about it. I mean, what... Uh... Well, I, you know, I was running down the channel and running about 70 miles an hour and you know, just popped a couple of waves and and I, and I lost it. I mean, the boat bow hooked on me and and uh, and it flipped me out of the boat. Flipped me out of the boat at 70 miles an hour. And basically, what a boat does when it bow hooks is it the bow drops and it just catches and it just spins the boat. Just makes an immediate U turn at 70 miles an hour. And and uh, you know, I'm hanging onto the steering wheel. I had no choice. No, I had no chance. I mean, it. It jerked, jerked me right over. It slammed me, piled me into that corner, broke a bunch of rods and reels and a bunch of ribs and back and everything else and pitched me out in the river. And um, luckily, I had this kill switch hooked to me, um, and that shut my engine down. But you weren't wearing a life jacket. I was not wearing a life jacket. And, um, I mean, I want everybody to know that because it was it's, it's not very smart. I mean, I've done it. I've done it my whole life. I mean... I've been fishing since I was a little bitty kid. I've been running I've been running boats for 35 years. I've never had a problem. I've never had an issue. I'm a really good experienced boat driver and I've always got lax about life jackets. It um you know when I went out, it uh that kill switch shut the boat down and and uh seemed like I was awful deep, but I mean I swam my way to the surface and there shut the boat. All I had to do is simply grab it and I come right up on this back corner, come around to the back, grab the hold the Mr. Revenrude back there and climbed my way back in and then laid there and just in agony and realized that, I mean, I was, I was bad hurt. I mean, I was bad. I had a bunch of busted ribs and collapsed vertebrae in my back and messed my knee up some. This arm was, I couldn't even raise this arm. I damaged it so bad going out. I thought it was broke, but it wasn't, just all tore up. Um, but I was really, really lucky for the fact that it was such a bad accident and, you know, that I didn't have a life jacket on that I survived. and. I really think that I could do that a hundred times again and never be that lucky. It, uh, I was just really, really lucky. Either I mean, the boat wouldn't be on top of you, or, no. or well, I mean, you was all the it was all the things that everyone says. I'm an experienced boat driver. I'm a good swimmer. You know, I, a lot of the a lot of the things all of us are guilty of saying, and and uh, a lot of anglers are guilty of just jumping in the boat and taking off, excited about fishing, excited about catching them, and they leave these stowed in a compartment. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a very good swimmer. I have no fear of water. Um, I could swim a long ways. and it. Uh, but, boy, I tell you what, when you get beat up, you get hurt, and then you're in the water, it's a different deal. And when I was in that water, you know, I mean, your mind works so fast. I mean, I'm thinking, I'm trying to swim for the surface. I'm thinking, where's my boat? Where's my boat? Because I know I'm 150 yards offshore, and we've got a strong tide. Um, I mean, I know I'm in a really bad situation. And... I surfaced and there was the boat. But if I'd had the life jacket on, the first thing, it would have protected me. A lot of me were hitting the side of the boat and stuff. I probably wouldn't have been busted up as bad. And, uh, and I wouldn't have had to worry about swimming up. I'd have been on the surface and I wouldn't have had to worry about where the boat went because I'm floating like I swim to it. Right. Um, I'm a really, I mean, I was so lucky. I just want everybody to know that, you know, 35 years of experience, good swimmer, you know, great boat driver doesn't make any difference. I mean, you really need to wear your life jacket and your kill switches. It can happen to anyone at any time. All the boats will bow hook, every one of them. If you, uh, if you let that bow get down and that bow catches, I mean, you're in trouble. So no matter what boat you're driving, no matter how much experience, no matter how good a swimmer you are, you really need a life jacket and a kill switch hooked up every time you're going to run one of these things.